Dresden, Germany in summer 2013. More than 750 engineers, managers and experts from 37 countries came together for the second Eurobreak conference and exhibition making Eurobreak 2013 the largest meeting of brake specialists in the world. We're very excited to be back here in Dresden for the second conference. The first conference surprised us, I think, with the great response that we got from the industry and the universities with more than 600 people attending. This year we have uh, more than 750 people that are coming from 50 countries almost around the world. We have, as you can see, this very large exhibition with 70 companies uh, exhibiting the, their solutions and their products. So we couldn't be more happy, uh, to be honest. It's, it's a fantastic show. It's truly a large portfolio of topics being offered here and that's why I made my way to Dresden even though I'm not even a listed speaker. Experts from all over the world come together and I'm overwhelmed by this great success. Eurobreak has become the industry's get-together where all of the major trends are being discussed. I'm more than happy. I think it's a smart mixture of content and input on one hand and networking with colleagues on the other hand. What makes this event unique in Europe is the combination of industry and universities that contribute on both speeches and exhibition. For me, the success of Eurobreak is based on the good mixture between industry and academics. Like this, we are able to cover a wide range of topics with extremely high quality as far as presentations and exhibition is concerned. In the past, the focus clearly was on passenger car braking systems, no doubt. But that is why we made an effort to incorporate more and more commercial vehicle topics into this event. And, as we learned from the crowded sessions, participants appreciated it. The presentations were absolutely brilliant, like for example the one on increased efficiency. The commercial vehicle market is cost-driven, and therefore the industry must continuously develop solutions to improve efficiency. Auf, uh, Effizienz ganz groß. I think, in comparison to last year's Eurobreak, I can see a continuous interest on topics like comfort braking. NVH was and is a major trend on both development tools and on the results. Another topic that we were focusing on is mechatronics and the entire field of electronic systems. I'm happy that we saw quite a number of interesting presentations about that. Even if recuperative electrical braking becomes more important in the future, I still can see that the friction brake successfully defends its leading position. Maybe the amount of wear can be reduced due to a smaller number of braking activities, but the importance of the friction brake will remain very high. When it comes to performance and dynamics, electrical braking still cannot beat friction brakes. Usually, this kind of event offers a high degree of theoretical content on the one hand and practical examples on the other hand, but with no linking element in between. Here, at the Eurobreak Congress, we saw this kind of convergence, and that's what makes the difference. We want to be different from other events. We want to work out contrasts, we want to incorporate universities as well as the industry and we are very confident that the Eurobreak establishes a unique character.